Anime shader or cell shading in Blender. For this to work properly, make sure your render setting is set to EV. We start by deleting the principal BSDF and adding the diffuse BSDF and shader to our GB node then plug it to the material output. Then add a color ramp node, set it to constant. You can add a point by clicking the plus sign on the color ramp and set the middle point to a dark gray color. Put the points in positions you feel you're satisfied with the amount of shadow casted. Add a mix RGB node. Set it to multiply. Duplicate the shader to RGB and diffuse node and plug to the mix RGB node. Now you can plug your image texture to the diffuse BSDF node and set the factor of the mix RGB to 1. Duplicate the mix RGB node and set it to screen. Duplicate the color ramp, shader to RGB, and diffuse note, and plug the color ramp to the color to of the mix RGB. This is for the highlight effect. Delete the gray point on the color ramp, and set the white one to the desired color you want the highlight to have. Set the factor to 0.1. Duplicate the mix RGB and color ramp. Add a fernal note and plug it to the color ramp, then plug the color ramp to the color to of the mix RGB. This gives a rim light effect, and adjusting the handle make the effect big or small. For the sketch effect, add mix shader note and plug it to the shader too. Then add a mix RGB, duplicate the color ramp, shader to RGB and diffuse note and connect them. Plug the color ramp to the factor of the mix shader. Download a cross-hatching texture on Google and import it into the shader editor. With the image texture selected, press Ctrl T on your keyboard. Add a value no and plug it to scale. This will control the size of the image. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was helpful.